Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated economist here. I was reading a pretty good article coming out of Seeking Alpha talking about the lumber industry and more accurately talking about Weyerhaeuser. Now, it was talking about the correlation between lumber, the Federal Reserve interest rates, and the price of Weyerhaeuser stock. Now, I'm not an investment guy. I'm not an investment channel here. I really don't know anything about investments or whether or not this is a good or bad stock to buy. But I do know a lot about the lumber industry, and I have been following the lumber future prices here for a little over a year, watching what's going on with, uh, with the mills. Now, what this article kind of goes on to talk about is the correlation between the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, killing the future prices of lumber, and how Weyerhaeuser could be a stock to buy now that the interest rates are starting to come back down on the Federal Reserve's uh, policy. So let me kind of explain it like this. A few years ago, as the building industry was really taking off, the lumber future prices had skyrocketed. And I mean, they were reaching all-time highs. And to kind of give you an idea, lumber went from around 300 per thousand, I believe, in 2015, all the way up to 650 per thousand by 2018. The price fell out. Lumber futures went from six fifty per thousand all the way down to under three hundred per thousand, and today they sit right around four hundred per thousand. So there was this huge drop in the market, and they've kind of returned a little bit. Now, going back to this article, he correlates the Federal Reserve's interest rate hiking to the popping of that uh, future price. So he was saying, while the Federal Reserve was raising interest rates, was the same time when they when they stopped raising interest rates was the same time that the lumber prices had peaked out and started dropping. Now that the Federal Reserve is dropping interest rates, he was saying that the price of the lumber has bottomed out and is starting to come back up. Correlating this all to the housing market, saying that as the interest rates were rising, mortgages got more difficult for people to buy more house with. So as the interest rates rise, the payments get more expensive, less house that you can buy, down comes the industry. Now that the interest rates are coming down, the better mortgage that you can get, the more house you can buy, the industry starts to come back, and that's why the future prices are coming back up. That's what I got out of that Seeking Alpha article. But now let me tell you the rest of the story. Because during that same time, when the prices of uh, futures went up to six fifty per thousand, Canadian mills were pumping out a ton of lumber. At the same time, China was buying a ton of timber and lumber from the United States. Right outside this window is the Columbia River, and we were exporting a ton of logs going over to China during that time. But then the tariffs started kicking in, and we started having trade wars. The United States inflicted a 30% tariff on Canada, and at the same time, China was inflicting a tariff on the United States. So we stopped exporting a lot of logs to China, and we stopped importing a lot of logs from Canada. This was devastating to the Canadian mills. So the Canadian mills up there started curtailing development, right? They started shutting down their mills to try and tighten up the supply, but it didn't work. The United States was still milling for ourselves. Instead of shipping all these logs over to China, we just basically kept our exports and kept them to ourselves and we stopped buying from Canada. Now Canada got hit with another like kind of like a double whammy because not only did the United States stop buying as much lumber from Canada, Canada at the time that the prices were going for 650 was in salvage mode due to account of this pine mountain beetle that was killing off all the trees. So years before this all started happening, this infestation of pine mountain beetle was starting to run havoc through the British Columbia forest. So what the industry did, what the, uh, what the government did up there is they raised the quotas. They said, okay, well, since this pine mountain beetle is killing off all the trees, go ahead and harvest those trees and kind of go into salvage mode since they're going to die anyway. So that's what Canada did. They started, started cutting down all these trees and milling them up. This was during the time that the price was selling for six fifty per thousand. Then all of a sudden, salvage mode is over and the price drops out. Price of logs got very expensive for Canada and the amount that they could sell it for, the futures prices, they weren't getting. The 650, they're getting 300. So they lost a lot of revenue. So that's why they started tightening up supply and then they started shutting down altogether. Now, if you listen to the experts up there, they're saying that that British Columbia forestry industry is not coming back for another 10 to 30 years. Crazy, crazy. 
So back over here in the United States, when you look over at the Seeking Alpha article where he's talking about how the Federal Reserve dropped interest rates and how this should create a boom or a boom to the lumber industry, they're not taking into consideration all that lumber that was coming from Canada. And they're not taking into consideration all the logs that we were exporting to China. So there has been a huge change in the lumber industry both from Canada, the United States, and China. So when you look at the stock, this warehouser stock, and like I said, I'm not the type of guy to tell you, you know, whether you should or shouldn't buy this thing. But when you look at it, it's not just the Federal Reserve's actions that are going to tell you whether or not the lumber industry is going to come back. Okay? You got to look at what's going on in Canada. You got to look at what's going on here in the United States, and you got to think about this trade war. Okay? Because if all of a sudden the trade war starts to diminish and logs start exporting out of here again, you're going to start seeing those future prices start to go back up. But if this trade war stays on and we're not importing a bunch of Canadian lumber, I just don't see where that lumber prices are going to keep going up. Okay. That's just my opinion on it. Uneducated economist. You guys let me know.